wouldn't it be wonderful just to be able to take our most beautiful moments, the happiest ones, and put them into little bottles, then just see on the tap and open those bottles every time we need. It's my 
smells different differently so I will be talking about the way I feel it uh, if I like it and a little bit about the memories that perfume brings back or why I'm keeping it so first I have Chanel number five. I know. This is my little bottle. I know that this is my little bottle. I have it in 30 milliliters and this is a very old bottle. And this perfume, not this particular one, I swear I have this for 10 years. I've had this for 10 years and you can still smell it so I know that a lot of uh, people a lot of women uh, do not like this one and consider this a uh, perfume uh, for old ladies there's nothing wrong with old ladies I myself am an quite old lady so um, um, it is considered an old-fashioned one but it still it used to be my favorite um, when I uh, was in college when I was a student um, I was quite poor and um, didn't have money to buy myself expensive perfume so when I um, uh, earned first time I earned my own money my first um, salary I uh, bought my very first perfume and it was this one it was Chanel number no. 5 um, because I love Marilyn Monroe and I know that it was her favorite perfume and because I like it, I don't know how to it to me it smells nice and fresh and flowery and elegant and I will always love this although I am not going to purchase it again so this is the story of Chanel number no. 5 I kept a little bit of perfume in here I was very young when I bought the first bottle and it really brings back nice memories so Chanel number no. 5 was my very first expensive perfume when I was in a college when I was in high school I used to wear Avon or Oriflame perfumes so I still love this one I have these two uh, Calvin Klein um, very long lasting I think are the most long lasting perfumes um, I have ever tried at least on my skin I still remember the advert for this one um, this is Eternity by Calvin Klein and this is Beauty by Calvin Klein um, and there's of course there is a story behind this also behind these two um, when I spent my very first Christmas with my husband our very first Christmas together um, uh, one of uh, his uh, presents was this he bought this he bought these two perfumes for me and um, Again, we have Eternity and we have um, a Calvin Klein Beauty and I remember that I did 
don't like this one too much. I, I like it, but not. Um, I wasn't mad about it. Very, um, very strong and long lasting, and it smells like the flowery perfume. But this one, and the name of it, Eternity, I just. Just consider it like a sign, like a positive sign for our relationship, for our love. Um, the bottle is classic, just a classic little bottle. And it's a very nice smell. I love floral oriental perfume with a little bit of um, a touch of spice and everything with jasmine in it, flowery white flowers and this smells like white flowers and to me it also smells like lemon, a touch of lemon somehow flowery and fresh and elegant white flowers and it lasts for so long and every time I kept a little bit I don't know, I might repurchase this one because I like it um, I don't like to spray perfume on clothes uh, sometimes I spray it on a scarf but um, the scarf that touched my neck I continued to smell for <laughs> a week so it's a very strong uh, perfume um, meaning it's really long lasting and so beautiful and classic and classy so I love it and uh, when I smell it all those beautiful memories come back to me um, that it excitement, um, the beauty of being in love and just floating and yes I might purchase this one again, I love it it's a little, a little bitter, I don't know how to explain it it's, it's flowery but not in a sweet way really nice how oh, this is eternity like having a very long lasting perfume and from uh, that Christmas is a tradition in our house, in our family to gift each other's perfume and um, I just want to be surprised with the new fragrance so um, another perfume that I used to love, I still love this I don't know for what reason I think I've already mentioned that this is flower by Kenzo this started to um, be a migraine trigger to me and I stopped wearing it but I love this this used to be my oh my god it smells so good my summer perfume so my summers um, years back used to smell like this one it's so feminine and so flowery of course it's called flower so it's a white flower perfume it smells like white flowers like delicate white flowers, again a very long lasting perfume and I love the way it combined with my skin but maybe it's time to buy another bottle and see if I can I can use it again because I really love this one can imagine a um, girl um, with a long white flowy dress, silk dress, delicate, sensitive, with a bunch of flowers in her 
hands just so beautiful <laughs> a very beautiful perfume but not uh, flowery but not sweet I love this one and I will probably purchase it I have just a little bit of another gift from my husband um, it was um, a time when um, I think this was launched on the market and um, uh, Julia Roberts appears in the advert and the advert was so beautiful full of life that my husband decided to purchase it for me he purchased two in uh, 30 milliliters and um, so this is La Vie Belle and this is La Vie Belle Intense um, a very nice bottle with this scarf this, this uh, ribbon, so this is, in my opinion, um, it's, um, um, it seems to be a scarf around the lady's neck. Um, and the perfume itself, it's uh, like so, just lovely about. Um, it's very floral very very floral but in a sweet way at least to me it to smells me. like caramel i don't know why and this is uh, la vie belle um the classic and la vie belle in tops of course it's a little bit different a little bit more bittery but uh, look uh, and this is uh, Evening perfume. It has a silver band, silver necklace instead. I loved it, but not. Um, I used it. It's long lasting, this one also. But I won't purchase it again. It was extremely, and probably it is still extremely popular, and you could and can fill it everywhere. You go and it's uh, it's too sweet for me. So I like it. I I had it. I use it, but I won't purchase it again because it. I don't know. It's not my type of perfume. It's a little bit too sweet for me. But it's a beautiful perfume. I don't like it on my skin. I have a friend that uses this and um, she's a smoker and this is a very strong perfume and this perfume combines with her skin and the smell of cigarettes so beautifully on her I can if she can, comes to visit and I can still feel it feel this uh, perfume in the house for um, some time after uh, she leaves this smells great on her but on me it doesn't on me it's really sweet it's, it's just not my type I don't I want to purchase this again but still it's a beautiful perfume and the first is awesome and I'll show you one of my personal signature and if you follow this channel if you have been following me for um, a little bit longer you know that this is my one of my favorites absolute top 5 perfumes so this is Narciso Rodriguez for her and this is the Oldie Toilet the classic one and this is um, uh, Eau de Parfum I tend to, it smells kind of the same but um, I tend to like Eau de Toilette a little bit more it's 
just the way I like it. I can wear this all year round. It's a perfume that makes me happy and I purchase it all the time. So I have this in 50 milliliters and I have this in 30 milliliter because I don't I like it, but not as much as this one. So this is it has white mask in it. White flowers, jasmine, and it has uh, its powdery. So, yes, I know that many people do not like powdery perfumes, but I love a touch of powder, not overpowering, it's just the right amount. especially in summertime so my summers smell like the one and I take this when I go on a holiday in summertime uh, again another perfume that makes me happy 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 so you should spray it here where to spray your perfume here and here but without rubbing because you destroy the perfume's molecules you shouldn't rub it spray it here behind your ears and just uh, here behind your neck just on your skin I also like to um, I, I've told you that I don't spray it on clothes, but sometimes I like to spray it on my scarves. Dolce Gabbana D1. Just me. It smells so feminine. It's a floral oriental fragrance. So good. Perfect for summer. I will definitely purchase this one also. Alright, let's go to some um, others. 
I keep some of them in the box of Gucci. <laughs> really original packaging for his perfumes. So this is um, Jean Paul Gaultier classic, I think. Let me see. Essence de Parfum. Essence Eau de Parfum Intense. Um, I think it's classic. Yes, it's classic. So, usually perfumes bring back nice memories when um, our baby park, Luna, got sick and we experienced some terrifying uh, moments I used to wear this perfume and I haven't used it since then because this brings back not very pleasant memories it was a very stressful period of time um, she suffered I like it, but just need to overcome the feeling of that feeling that um, it brings back. Um, she she got really sick and she had surgery, and being a bug, it's really difficult for parks because they have breathing problems it was very scary experience um, we've waited for hours um, at the clinic because we couldn't go home we, um, we had waited for the doctors the surgeons to finish the surgery it was so stressful and after after that the recovery was really difficult and um, I still I, I cannot wear this I have this one I don't know if I can show you the bottle because I am using a green screen and the bottle is somehow still dry. I hope it shows. The bottom is greenish aqua colored, but it seems to be green. I'll show it not to you like this. <laughs> so this is a Indabatiri Mucla. And also if you have um, followed me and our channel for a little bit longer you know that this is again one of my signature perfumes I have told you I have told you so many stories about this it is a surprise Christmas present our family tradition I am wearing now a mixture of fragrances this perfume makes me happy I'm so happy every time I wear this I was so happy when I received it like in a Hallmark movie you know a young woman in love receiving a beautiful perfume from her husband that festive atmosphere the excitement of opening the present and I fell in love at the first Spray. This is a very particular perfume. You either love it or hate it. And I love it. There are so many people that hate this. Because it's, it is said to be a gourmand perfume. It is said that it smells like caramel. Uh, to me, it doesn't. On my skin, it doesn't smell like caramel. It's so difficult to describe it. I love it. I love it. So this, I use this especially in winter. And every time I wear it, I feel like in a Hallmark movie. I, I'm happy. It 
makes me so happy. Mm, so good. And let's put it back in its beautiful. I like to keep the most loved ones in. Jean-Paul Gaultier's perfumes have very nice, but 
packaging um, and they last for a very long time this one is a um, sweet floral perfume with a touch of honey I, I can definitely feel the honey in it more than the flowers it's really sweet and um, and it's nice and I wanted it um, I wanted to have it in my collection but I was so in love with it at first I loved it and I used to wear it all the time but then it became a little bit too sweet for me I still wear it from time to time it's nice, I love it but I, it's not uh, my top favorite it's um, it's sweet, sweet. It's, uh, it you can definitely feel the honey in this one. So I'm gonna need to show to you my current favorite. And this wasn't love at first spray. When I first sprayed this, I first sprayed this, I didn't like it. You have to let it. Um, stay on your skin for a little bit so this is this is a beautiful perfume and it tends to become, become one of my top five for now it's Alice Up Le Parfum I think it uh, won a prize this perfume is very classic Classic box package and the bottle is so beautiful. Look at it, it smells so nice. Although the top knots are tricky, now I cannot feel anything, but it's so such a beautiful and feminine perfume again I love the same notes it's flowery it has jasmine in it again it has vanilla and honey but it's so flowery but not overwhelming my current it smells like a spring card this is my current favorite and I'm wearing this all the time it's a perfume that you can wear wear it in any season it's classy feminine one of the most beautiful perfumes that I have ever worn it smells so nice on my skin I love it this is my current favorite and what I am currently wearing I'm in love with this I am in love with this perfume and I will definitely purchase it again I love it cannot tell you how much I love this to show you some how do I, not dupes and these are for from a um, company called Euderma they're very popular here in Italy and um, you can find this on Amazon if you want um, I have a friend that um, sells these and uh, she brought me some samples to try because I was curious to see how um, Chloe, for example, smelled like because it's a very popular perfume and I wanted to try and this is Seducium and it is, smell, it is said that it smells like Chloe and uh, I love it I, used half of the bottle it's a very clean smell but I don't think I'm going to buy Chloe I like it but it's simple and clean and um, yeah 
Next I have um, uh, Iris So Iris is um, similar to Alien by Terry Mugler Alien again is one of my favorite fragrances in my top 5 Very good and um, again extremely popular one of my all-time favorites but I just wanted to compare it and see how um, so this one smells uh, almost the same as this one but of course it doesn't last as long as Alien but it's uh, quite similar I <laughs> of course I'm going to purchase Alien again that it, the bottle is green, the liquid is green, so I cannot show it to you it will look strange with the green screen is this, is uh, like this one uh, from uh, Dolce Cabana, Dolce with this cute tap well, it smells like like an orange orchard really nice and it's quite long lasting and it smells so similar to this one so if you want a um, cheaper alternative you can purchase this from Amazon um, I prefer the real thing but um, I was amazed to see how similar they smell like and I have uh, one that I really was so curious to try because it is a niche perfume it is said that this oud oud in French oud smells similar um, smells like um, Tom Ford's black so curious to smell it and it was such a big disappointment it's such a particular smell so just if you have tried but if you have tried the original thing just let me know how it smells like this one smells very I cannot feel the flowers I cannot feel any type of orchid in it it's just something really heavy and overpowering, overwhelming and um, I don't want to spray it because I don't like it um, it doesn't smell like flowers to me it smells like something synthetic artificial and I don't like it so just tell me in the comments the real thing, black or red um, smell like orchids so this is a, um, a close formula of course it doesn't smell like the 100% just like the real thing popular here favorite current favorite that I love using it and I using all the time it's something really cheap this is really cheap it's I don't think at four or five euros it's called the Zori Doriente Byzantium again these um, are said to be dupes by famous um, um, perfumes um, I don't know but this smells so good this smells like vanilla but in a good way vanilla a flowery vanilla perfume it's called a perfume aromatico aromatic perfume this is with black rose and leptanum Look how beautiful the bottle is It 
smells so good It makes me happy And I buy this all the time which I know it's really cheap, it's cheap perfume But I love it and this is only the real that are really popular here I smell like a perfume shop right now And it lasts not as long as a um, um, brand perfume But it lasts, you can feel, I can feel it the next day So I spray this in uh, the evening um, Before going to bed for example I, I like to spray my pillow also And I can feel it in the morning so it smells really good. One of my favorites right now. And let me tell you a secret I don't like tapping. It's irritating to me. I like it's really strange. I like um camera tapping this is tingly but I don't like uh, the, the, the intentional aggressive tapping on so things I um, tapped for you that's why I don't tap too much in my videos it's not my trigger I don't like it there are certain triggers that I do not like I don't enjoy, I just skip I react to whispering and soft-spoken um, and very gentle triggers, personal attention I don't like um, very um, sensitive um, actions I don't like finger fluttering also So, let's do a little bit of close-up whispering so my lovely, lovely dreamers Thank you so much for watching the whole thing I really hope that you enjoyed it If you did enjoy Please leave me a comment I love reading Reading your comments And I always reply Yeah.